The Society of St. Vincent de Paul is a Catholic lay organization whose members seek to grow spiritually and to serve the needy and suffering. The foundation of the society is very simple. It relies on local lay volunteers drawn from every ethnic and cultural background, age group, and economic level, organized into small, typically parish-based groups called conferences. These people, called Vincentians, deliver assistance and comfort to people in need. The mission of the society is as follows. Called by baptism and inspired by gospel values, the members of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul seek to grow spiritually and to serve the needy and suffering in a spirit of justice and charity. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul was founded in Paris, France in 1833, where a young Frederick Ozenam and several other college students were debating the truth of the Catholic Church. Frederick and his friends were challenged to prove that their church was dealing with the social problems of the day. Frederick's response was one of action. With his friends, he formed a new society modeled after the great French priest, St. Vincent de Paul. Like Vincent, they sought out the poor, sick, and neglected who had no one to care for them. They went to Sister Rosalie Rendu, a daughter of charity, who mentored them and led them to the homes of the poor where they brought food, clothing, and most importantly, friendship. And through this beginning was born the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. Thirteen years later, in 1845, the Society of St. Vincent de Paul began to form in the United States. The first parish conference was established in St. Louis, Missouri. From this initial meeting, the society spread quickly throughout the country. In parish after parish, in city after city, the society grew. Much of the early work of the society focused upon the needs of struggling immigrant groups. But the work of the society was far-ranging from the beginning, as each new conference assessed the needs of people in their own community, and then set about meeting those needs in a way they do best. Hello! How are you? Okay, how are you doing? Today, the society continues to serve the needs of the poor on a one-to-one -one basis. It also serves through many special works, such as the familiar thrift stores that provide furniture, clothing and personal goods for people in need. Prison ministry provides help for the incarcerated. Food pantries and soup kitchens give food to the hungry. Medical and dental clinics provide health care for many of the underserved. It is said that no form of charity is foreign to the society. And yet the society is facing many challenges for the present and the future. As we experience a decrease in the role of the government to deliver assistance to the poor, there must be an increase in the role played by others. And notably, it calls for an increase in the role of the Society of St. Vincent de Paul. To meet these challenges, the Society has launched a strategic plan which sets new goals to enhance the scope of its work, including the formation of new members. We want to increase our membership through conference revitalization, striving for diversity in age, race, and ethnicity. Advocacy for the poor is a priority. This lobbying effort, called the Voice of the Poor, encourages us to become effective national and local advocates for the rights and needs of those people who are poor. Taking care of the emergency needs that a family has for food or clothing or, or making sure there's electricity or heat in the home, uh, that's the short-term advocacy role. And the long-term advocacy role is to take care of looking at these kinds of social policies that are creating those kinds of problems and what can be done to change those. Another goal is to increase communication both within the society and to the public. Internally, we can learn much from each other. Communicating externally will help tell our story and attract new members and support.
Collaborating with other organizations of goodwill is another priority. The Society seeks to work closer with other Catholic organizations and other agencies that serve the poor. Through our twinning program, conferences are able to share their resources with other conferences that have a greater need. The Society is also reaching beyond the borders of the United States through international twinning, whereby our conferences are able to help support the activities of conferences in least developed countries. This International Society of Friends is less than 200 years old, yet has a membership of over 700,000 worldwide. More than 120,000 of those members are here in the United States, where we spend over $300 million a year, assisting 15 million needy and poor. Although the Society of St. Vincent de Paul is renewing itself to meet the challenges of today and tomorrow, the most important characteristics of the Society remain unchanged. The Society provides an opportunity for women and men to grow in holiness, to become a community of faith, and to serve those who are suffering and poor. Prayer and reflection is very important in the conference life because it centers everyone. It keeps everybody focused on, on why we're there. Um, the reflection of the spiritual reading um, brings back to our Vincentian spirituality why we're doing the work we do and the impact that we have on the people we serve. So it, all, it brings it all back to our Christian faith and our, our sense of being a Catholic. Um, that's our way to live out, put our faith into action. So the prayer is the basis for that. The action is the, the service that we're doing. So it brings it all back with the reflection. Home visits are the core of Vincentian's service to the poor providing both material and spiritual assistance. You're able to see actually how the people are living, uh, what kind of problems they actually have, and what the need is that they have. And unless you are visiting them and making contact with them, that is really the only way you can determine that. Many times they just need someone to listen or someone to talk to. Many of them are lonely and so we as Vincentians can bring other things to these people. They might just want to pray sometimes. So those are some of the things that we can bring to them. Vincentians constantly strive to see the features of Jesus Christ in the poor. When we visit our families, we truly find the presence of Jesus, but we also know that we are evangelized by our families, by our friends, that we have uh, grown closer to our Lord by service to our neighbors. Some way, somehow, our Lord being there with us, we can actually see Jesus present in these families. And some way, somehow, they'll see Jesus in us. And it's so important to recognize how much we can become closer to our Lord by loving Him and our neighbors. Because in the poor, Vincentians see the face of Christ. <laughs>